Hello, I'm Lena Taro. In this video, I'll be showing you how to construct a confidence interval for the slope of a population regression line on the TI-89. We'll be using data that's found in Chapter 12, Section 1 of the Practice of Statistics. We have data from 16 used Ford F-150 Supercrew 4x4s. We have miles driven and price in dollars for each vehicle. To begin, go to Stat List Editor and hit Enter. In List 1, we'll be entering the miles driven, and in List 2, we'll be entering the price in dollars. Now that the data is entered, we're ready to find our confidence interval for our slope. To do this, hit 2nd, F7 to access the F7 menu. Then, choose option 7, linear regression t-interval. We need to tell the calculator where we've stored our x values and our y values. Our x list is in list 1. I'm going to hit alpha lock to make it easier to type in the letters that spell the word list. Use the down arrow to get to the next field. Once again, alpha lock to type in the letters that spell the word list. Our frequency is 1 because each of the ordered pairs occurred exactly once. We're going to store the regression equation in Y1 in case we want to access e this equation later for making predictions. And we're doing a confidence interval for slope. For confidence level, we'll say 90% confidence. We'll hit enter. And we can see that our confidence interval has a lower bound of negative 0.217 and an upper bound of negative 0.108. We also have our y-intercept and our margin of error. Or actually, this is our slope and our margin of error. We can say that we are 90% confident that the true slope of the regression line is between negative 0.217 and negative 0.108, meaning that the price in dollars goes down by between 21 or 22 and 11 cents on average per each additional mile driven.